Halkra has played a key role in building the world's sixth largest mosque. The Sheikh Zahid bin Sultan Al Nayan Mosque, more commonly known as the Grand Mosque, will take centre stage in Abu Dhabi's rapidly developing cityscape. This vast structure, named after the UAE's late president, can hold up to 30,000 worshippers. Construction work has been carried out in two phases. Halkra were initially involved in uh, completion of the phase one, which is um, the structural design and structural supervision of the uh, mosque works. Covering an area of 22,000 square metres, the structure has been built with 33,000 tonnes of steel, 120,000 cubic metres of concrete and 7,000 foundation piles. Its three main domes soar 85 metres into the sky, while a quartet of elegant minarets tower still higher at 104 metres. The second stage involves installing thousands of tons of white marble cladding and intricate Islamic decor carving and landscaping. The Zivic marble is from Macedonia in Greece. It's um, specifically selected for its, its white qualities and consistency of colour. Halcro's present role in the project is uh, as designers of the external finishes and coordinating with the MEP works and the design of the internal finishes which is being carried out by an Italian company. We brought a team of architects and uh, structural engineers onto site to do the details uh, of the external marble finishes. These include the gold capitals for the columns, the coloured inlaid marble for the external arcade columns, uh, golden finials for the domes. The impressive main entrance sports Quranic text and botanical imagery skillfully carved into the arches. Now we're in the main prayer hall of the mosque. Um, on the west side of the mosque we have the Qibla wall where all the worshippers will be praying. The Qibla wall is going to consist of six pages of Quranic verses. The pages will cover the whole length of the wall and they will be about 21 meters high and it will be lit with fiber optics so it will give a gold shimmering effect. Grounds surrounding the mosque will be landscaped with water features and parks.